Now, I'm talking about all the devil stuff. He don't want this out. He is like, shut up. But I'm going to get this out. I made a vow to God that no matter how famous, how popular, how renowned I got, I would always make time to minister to people. I don't care if I got a New York Times bestseller. I don't care if I'm sitting on CNN as a political analyst. I don't give a hoot nanny if I am the 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 spiritual advisor to the Chicago Bulls. I'm going to cast out demons and break curses for the rest of my life. I will go from political debates educational exams, policy uh, reviews. Uh, uh, I will go from a very high level intellectual capacity where my command of the Eng English language will become like a uh, 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 vocabulary and velocity. I will do all of that stuff and then grab your head and cast out the devil for the rest of my life. So if you are still with the 2% of America that's talking about it don't take all of that, you get your old bound tail in one of these old candy yam Christian center churches, I don't care what they use, and you sit there, you and them demons in your life and them devils in your bloodline and your old bound children and your old twitching husband, you go to candy yam carnal daycare deliverance church and sit there but anything touched to me is gonna learn to cast out devils every church i oversee gonna cast out devils every i will rebuke i i wish let me tell you i wish i wish one of the churches i oversaw told me they wasn't casting out devils i would rebuke them i would rebuke them most of y'all folk only get rebuked because they don't come to convocation and pay their dues I would rebuke my people for, for not paying dues, but I will also rebuke them for not making time to minister to their people. If you love these people, it don't have to be every Sunday, it ain't got to be every meeting, but you ought to be spending time to say, come out, take them heels off. They will tell you, some of them in here right now, they will tell you, I will rebuke them. Take them old pretty boots off and cast the devil out out of these people. Break these generational curses. I mean, how can you say you love people and, and you got these boys in your church that's been called faggots and sissies and punk and homo and pimp all their life and you never take a moment to break the authority of those word curses off of people. You let these little boys and, and what happens is when people deal with word curses, they have had demonic destinies prophesied to them. So they begin to manifest Manifest it after people have said that about them. What did Jesus say? The words I speak are spirit and life. So words convey spirits. When you have people that have been you just like your father, you ain't gonna be nothing, you stupid, you dumb, you got ADHD, you gotta break the authority of them words, watch me, and the spirits that are in the lives of these people that are making sure these words manifest. They're demons. When you deal with when you deal with women who who been called the B word and been called hoes and runners and prostitutes and been called dykes and lesbians and all of this stuff and, 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 and rats. Those words and names are upheld by spirits. So you can believe it or not, I'm going to follow the Jesus model. You preachers that think that y'all are better than Jesus, I'm scared. I think it's a, I, I, I think it's a, 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 a solitary confinement for you in hell because you're trying to redesign this man church. If Jesus cast out devils, I'm going to always cast out devils. And I ain't going to ever think it don't take all of that. It takes whatever Jesus did and more because he said, greater works shall you do because I go to my father. So yeah, preachers should lay hands on people, cast demons up out of people. Some of these goofies calling themselves apostles, wouldn't if, if you asked them to name three demons, they wouldn't know what it is. What are you apostling? What are you a sent one to? What do you achieve with your sent oneness? Huh? Who sent you? Why did he send you? If not for war, then for what? Just to supervise churches? Do you not know apostle? Apostolicity is, 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 is connected to war, authority, the breaking of curses. You saw the, confront, the confrontation in the, in, the old, in the New Testament. I'm done. I'm going upstairs to my wife. All right. It took me about three different times uh, to get this out. And um, I've got, what, probably about 
Oh, it's four. All right, I probably got like four, three or four of them in here. Uh, but I'm concerned about church planters. I love you, especially if God called you to do what you called by God to do. But don't pass to these people and not be ministering to them, casting demons out of them. But now when you start, you might have to call me because some of your church folk are uh, going to be offended. You start telling uh, somebody on mother's board they got devils, they might be offended. I've been praying longer than you've been lying. Yeah, but you, you, the reason you got arthritis is because you got a demon called bitterness, mother. That moved a fruit basket off your head and let me pray for you. Here's a little paper towel so I can cast that bitterness up out of you. I know you're 82, but that secret is 82 in you too. Come on, up and out, mother. Up and out, mother. Up and out. Come on. Come on. Cough. Take a deep breath. Up out of there. Come on out of there. <laughs> in a house of war, you just develop war language. You deal with demons. So yeah, church people may be offended when you cast the devil out of them, but they demonize. If you've been in church longer than three minutes, you know church folk got devils. That's all I'm saying. All right, so here's some good books. <laughs> Kim Daniels has a great book called Clean House, Strong House. That's a tremendous book. So into the building project. Thank you so very much, Leandre Bumpus. God bless you, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, Clean House, Strong House. Anything by Lester Sumrall on demons and deliverance is powerful. Uh, of course, uh, John Eckhart, I'm biased. I think he's a, a deliverance and spiritual warfare general. Uh, so he's got several books. Uh, uh, you got They Shall Expel Devils, Demons. Uh, you got How to Cast Out Demons by Doris Wagner. They Shall Expel Demons, I think, is by, um, what is that man? They Shall Expel Demons. I got to look at my library. Hold on. I love y'all. I'm about to show y'all some good warfare books. This is a very unique periscope. Yeah, the Demon Hit List by John Eckhart is also good. They Shall Expel Devils, um, How to Cast Out Demons by Doris Wagner. Um, some other good ones is Healing Through Deliverance. Healing Through Deliverance by Peter Horobin. Uh, that's actually a part one and a part two book. That's actually very, very, very good. That's one of the first we got. Um, uh, what my deliverance section? I can't show y'all all my books because then... I got to give y'all my secrets. Uh, my deliverance section is somewhere else. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Some good deliverance books. My favorite deliverance teacher. Hold on. See, there's another scope on why pastors need to have a library. Pigs in the Parlor. Yeah, Pigs in the Parlor is good by Frank and Ida Mae Hammond. That's very, very, very good. Um... Pastors need some books. Y'all need to be studying. I wouldn't follow a leader who what dude didn't have no study line. All right, I'm I'm behind my uh <laughs> my thing trying to find my deliverance books. Hey man, who moved my stuff? I can see this is what you get for getting married. Folks start moving your stuff. I mean, where are my warfare books? Anyway, my favorite um um. Deliverance Minister is Derek Prince. He is my absolute favorite deliverance minister. So, um, you got some old school um, deliverance pioneers. One of them was a very, very, very large man who pioneered a Baptist church, Hegwich Baptist Church, actually in the 60s and the 70s. He was one of the first to... Um, um, do mass deliverance sessions. So he would bring services together and um, he would cast devils out of audiences. But um, uh, what is that man named? The big dude. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. What is it? Win Worley. Thank you. <laughs> Win Worley was a deliverance minister. Uh, he's got some great teachings out there, so that's good. I'm sorry. Now, Peter Popoff ain't casting out devils. If Peter Popoff cast out a devil, his head, his head would fall off. Because the Bible says a house divided against itself can't stand. Can't stand. Anyway, so that's my admonishment to you. Uh, start preaching. Deliverance. Teach deliverance. Put deliverance in your church. Raise your people up to do deliverance. Uh, it'll help them evangelistically. Hey, if you feel like you have an apostolic calling on your life, uh, you feel like maybe God is going to use you in the apostolic ministry, um, then look, I want you to get this book. I have a number of them, but this is a classic book on the apostolic uh, 
Moving in the Apostolic by this guy, John Eckhart. And it has a lot of what I teach you in there um, about deliverance, deliverance, spiritual warfare, prophecy, and the whole paradigm. So if you feel like you're called to the apostolic, this is something you cannot afford to not have in your library. Every senior pastor needs this book. So get this book. It's a classic, man. This, this came out in the early 90s. You need to read this. And, and, I, and you know what? It, it's odd. Apostle John might be on here. But I really feel like this book, is anointed for right now. It's an old book, but I feel like the day for the manifestation of the revelation, this is a vanguard word for right now. So go get this book and it'll help you. Or you can go on YouTube. They got a lot of teachings by Derek Prince. Derek Prince is a beast, man. He's amazing when it comes to deliverance, spiritual warfare. So anything by uh, Derek Prince, of course, Apostle Kim Daniels is amazing. But I think every preacher, every Christian, according to Mark 16, 16 through 18, Every one of you should learn how to cast out devils. So go. The Great Commission is a, is a commission that includes deliverance from casting out demons, and you need to do it. So go and get it. All right. I love you guys. I'm up out of here. Yo, do me a favor. If you have been blessed by our vision, our ministry, any of that, do me a favor and help us burn this mortgage Sunday. Uh, Sunday, January the 31st, we're going to be paying off our, our building. We're getting ready to do some serious, intense expansion. And we're praying. We're, we're moving into this round with a great, 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 great vengeance. And I want you to help me. 2,000 people, 115 bucks. You can do it on text to give. You can do it at uh, allnationswa.com or you can do it uh, when you come there. So Sunday when we rate, when we raise the offering, I'm going to be periscoping and uh, so you can do it with us. And so, yeah, help us get this done and we're going to do it. I love you guys, Kenneth Woodard. I'm, I'm hugging you back. You guys are amazing. I receive that. It will be double. It, if, it's, if, if we raise double Sunday, you're going to have to pick me up off the floor because I'm going to tear a hole in, in an outfit. So please pray for me. I love you guys. You are amazing. Um, help us do this. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Peace out.